Should I close it? Damn, this shit's sharp, bro. Do it harder. Wait, close. Do it with your right hand and just use your index finger. Like this? Yeah, and just. Ooh. Look at that. How do I close it? That line. That line inside the knife. You see that line? Let's push it over. This one? Yeah, just push it to the left. Oh, okay. And then close it. Then close it. Uh, so it's gonna take like time and practice to like get it faster. Yeah. But if you do if you do that and wave your wrist at the same time. Oh. Another morning editing my video with this monster and I, already, I didn't record this but I had a um, oh yeah bar the birthday cake and Calvin just walked in and gave me a pocket knife if you guys watched my last video he gave Christian one and he's like the king of pocket knives so this morning he came in and gave me a pocket knife because I, t I told him it would be uh. useful show me how to work this thing Okay. Ah, oh, shit, fuck? my bad, bro. bro. I didn't mean to do that. Just press that button, it comes right out. That's all mm. you need. Where's Christian? <laughs> <laughs> all right, just clicked export on the video. So right now it's rendering. It's probably gonna take an hour or so. Um, it's now 11.57. I'm making my second meal of the day. I have some 99.1 ground turkey. <clears throat> Jenny O, of course. And then I'm going to be adding some of this. And then for the side, I'm going to have some oatmeal. I adopted this breakfast from Russell because he tweets a lot about how oatmeal, egg whites, and uh, ground turkey is the greatest thing he's ever had. So I'm gonna try it out today. So here is some low sugar, low carb oatmeal. And then of course, I'm going to add a cup of all whites egg whites um the reason i get these this brand is because it has zero carbs um the other brands have like two or four carbs on them in them and uh i like my egg whites with no carbs right, so i weighed out two servings of the egg whites um i already cooked the ground turkey that's four ounces i already weighed that out and then i have the extra remaining ground turkey right here that i think kelvin's gonna have some because i'm making him breakfast and uh so first i'm gonna sauce up the pan a little bit and then i'll pour this onto the pan two servings and then of course i'll add my pico this is very hard to do with one hand very hard um so add a little bit of pico and I'll wait for that to cook a little bit, and then I'll add the four ounces of ground turkey on top, and then mix it all around, and I'm gonna put this camera down because this is really hard. So here's the finished product. Of course, I have the maple brown sugar, low, low carb, low sugar um, oatmeal with chocolate chips and Walton Farms, and then the ground turkey, the Jenny O's 99.1 ground turkey, egg whites, pico de gallo, and I poured a little bit of salsa. This meal puts me at 45 carbs, 61 protein, and 12 grams of fat. Just because of the uh, oh yeah bar I had earlier this morning, uh, the one I told y'all about earlier in the video, and Kelvin already had his meal. So good, like coming from a person who doesn't eat healthy food, I eat the Whataburger, <laughs> and egg rolls and stuff, that shit was good. So yeah, shout out to Russell for the tip. Russell, no. Oh, Russell made that? Oh, he that's makes, Russell's recipe? He makes it, and I, I kind of like copied it from him today. Oh, hell no, that shit tastes like shit then. Last night while I was doing cardio, my 45 minutes of cardio, 45 minutes of death, Kelvin sent me a text, and he sent me my clothes all folded up nicely at, in Christian's laundry room, and uh, turns out he did my laundry for me, so uh, shout out to Kelvin, but look at what he's doing right now. <sighs> Back at it again with the laundry. Yeah, chill, bro. Damn, Kelvin. Back at it again yo, with the at my, laundry. Look at my fucking folding skills, though, bro. Look at all these Zenith, sh Zenith shirts, though. Look at all these wonderful, awfully colors that are gonna come out and 
they're gonna launch and they're gonna sell out within like five minutes. Bro, are you really fucking up my my folding? Hold up. Damn. <laughs> I'm riding shotgun with Kelvin. We're about to go help Frank move into his new apartment. Um, as you guys know, Frank moved out today, so he moved closer to like central Houston. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like River Oaks, like the nicest place. If you remember my Hop Dottie video, my cheap, my cheat meal, that's where he moved to, um, around that area. A really nice area. Um, so we're all happy for him, and we're all gonna help him move in today. So right now we're taking Kelvin's truck because he has a truck bed, and our plan is to go to go to his house, pick him up, go to IKEA, and then after IKEA, uh, go to Best Buy and uh, pick him up a TV. Yo, Frank. Hey, where uh, are you? At your apartment? No, I'm here. Okay, um, what's the address? It's, uh, 4410 West Monroe. Just come to Hot Dotty and bring it to Oh, uh, come to Hot Dotty? Well, not, don't come to Hot Dotty, but, you know, just go to, like, go on the Hot Dotty. I'm, I'm at the Millennium Park Street. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, okay, I, have, I know what you're talking about. Alright. Shout out to all my followers. I just hit 30k on the Instagram. Real nigga shit. Chita 100. Yo! Asian with a phone driving looking up Korean music is not a good combo. Horrible combo. Yeah. With a dad hat on. That's like the ultimate equation for destruction. Destruction. All right, so just made it to Frank's apartment. And my computer is so slow that it's still rendering. I have 2%. Right now it's 1.51 in the afternoon. I wanted this video up at 2. So it's probably going to take like another 30 minutes to 45 minutes to upload. But it's all good though. I'm still delivering that content. That fire. Every single day. So right now we're waiting for Frank to come out. And I think we're going to go to uh, Best Buy. Or maybe we'll go inside actually. Yeah, it's probably right there. Yeah. All right. Already got your TV mounted? Yeah, they gave me that TV. No way. Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. They'll give us some at West Down. Or Quite Bro. Check it out. It's uh, the closet, bro. Bro, I like how like it's like modern retro. Yeah, but like, look, you can pull this down for more storage. Like, you can hang your jackets up Damn. there. Damn. Punch it up. Oh, that's so tight. Cool, Come and shit. And, uh, see the finish in my shower? The shower man. Damn. It's dope, right? Yeah, this is sick. Yeah, I'm happy, man. This is River Oaks, y'all. So nice. So jealous of Frank. All right, so right now we're at Crate and Barrel. Uh, we're getting Frank some furniture. Well, actually, I think he's looking for a table. Um, he's looking for a table. He has everything in his apartment except for a dining room table, right? So that's what we're trying to get. And apparently Crate and Barrel is like known for like their spectacular furniture. But right before we do that, we're gonna go get some water because I'm very dehydrated. And why is my camera fogging up right there on your face? See that set back in there? Set back? He is so, un so real. Um, we needed water and we've walked around to like two, three stores and we haven't found any. So right now they're walking like out of the shade and I'm walking under the shade because it's very hot. Not yeah, it's like so hot that I'm standing under the shade. I can't afford to get any more dark. Like I'm getting a tan on Friday. I'll just wait for that. Still searching for water. So our two options are let Exxon right there or HEB Central Market. And I think we're just gonna go Central Market and we're gonna cross the street illegally. What is this? Like a rice crispy? What is that? Damn. What is that? Dude, it's salt. Four servings of 4.5 fat. That's a lot. It's like 120 carb. Yeah. It's not worth it. Looks good though. It's a cocoa 
Marshmallow rice treats. Oh god. Damn. Look at that birthday cake one. The sprinkle one. Oh, look at that. Summer sales, we're doing our um, bed lemons and matches. I said, are you bringing Alphaly joggers to the photo shoot? No, for us. Like, what are we wearing as pants? Do you want a, a high with a cement top? Yes. And you can steel. Yes, you can get that. Yeah. Okay. I'm so hungry, bro. I'm so tired. We're going to Chick fil A after. You are? Yeah. yeah. I'm barely alive right now. I'm going to go for a salad for sure. And the grilled chicken sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. We haven't eaten since like this morning. What time is it? It's three o'clock. All right, so we finally bought everything we needed to buy for Frank's apartment. So now we're here at Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm probably just gonna get two orders of grilled nuggets and one order of the um, chicken salad, and that'll be good for me. And of course, I'm gonna track all of that. Uh, today, I have my last refeed, so I'm eating 325 carbs, so I'm a lot more flexible when it comes to eating what I want. I picked up an eight count grilled nugget. Four hours later, the TV is finally set up. The rug is finally placed under the couch. Frank's house is good to go. Guys, right, so we just made it to HQ from helping Frank move stuff all day. Honestly, guys, the move today has been kind of bleh. Um, everyone's been kind of like down, and mainly it's because it's been because me and Christian, honestly, uh, we've been kind of bringing the mood down. Um, we're just tired, man. Um, you would think that high carbs would make this week a lot better, but it's actually made it a lot harder. Um, I've been really tired today. Uh, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a confession right now. I've had four monsters today, four white monsters, four complete monsters in one day, and I still feel like crap. Um, maybe it's the overdose. I mean the over I guess the overdosage of uh, caffeine that I've had today, or it's just it's peak week and honestly like nothing is helping. The high carbs aren't helping. The the excessive amount of caffeine isn't helping. Um, I'm barely getting any sleep. So honestly, at this point, I'm I'm ready to get I'm ready to I'm ready for peak week to be over and I'm ready to just not have to depend on caffeine and and other stimulants to get me up and ready and, and, and help me complete my day um, right now we're about to hop into a back and by workout it's our last back and by workout of the um, of this prep uh, today's Wednesday tomorrow's Thursday tomorrow's an, another long day I have to go get my chunks tailored and um, fit to my way fit to my waist so Hopefully after this, um, we're gonna, well we have back and by, and then after that we have 45 minutes of cardio. Uh, Frank's making us do 45 minutes of cardio, and then we're gonna do posing for about an hour. So we're gonna be here for about at least three to four hours. Um, probably won't get home till midnight again. Um, honestly, it sucks, and I still have macros to hit, so I might snack on rice cakes before I hop on the Stairmaster or something like that. I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. But right now we're about to hop in a back, a back and by workout. I'm gonna try and keep it raw for y'all, just so y'all can see and kind of feel what we're going through right now, the emotions, the, um, the fatigue, uh, this, this tiredness, man. I'm tired all the time, but I mean, we're only three days out. I'm gonna push through, I'm gonna push through. Um, I have a great support system. I have, a great people, I have great people around me and we're just gonna push through and uh, get through this peak week.
so we pushed through the workout, finished the back and by workout. Um, we did about three back movements and two bicep movements. I don't think I got the last bicep movement on camera, but it was a good workout. Got a good pump, good back by workout. Um, so that was gonna, that's the last back by back and by workout for this prep. Um, the next couple of days, tomorrow we're gonna hit like a light, high volume. Um, upper body workout and then Friday we might hit a light upper body workout as well again um, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing 25 minutes of cardio tonight right now which I'm about to start I've thrown on the long sleeve I have my joggers I'm trying to sweat as much as possible man um, get as much water off of me um, I'm gonna do 45 minutes of cardio Christian as well it does Did you spray something? I just farted <laughs> I'm about to do 45 minutes of cardio on the uh, treadmill uh, that's my favorite cardio machine. Um, I don't have to put a lot of effort in my legs. My legs, they're already heavy right now. Um, this whole week it's been hard to even walk or do anything. So 45 minutes on the on the treadmill at a 12, 12 point incline and 3.5 speed. And uh, he's gonna do Stairmaster, 45 minutes. What speed? I kinda go like, if this is zero to 100, I go like 35, 40. Oh, okay, yeah. So something we can do for 45 minutes without like, dying and like yesterday. passing out yeah like yesterday my macros are 246 carbs 206 protein and 38 grams of fat um, I'm missing about 17 grams of fat and about 80 something carbs so <laughs> I need to get on it right I just ate a pack of uh, apples and cinnamon oatmeal the lower sugar kind um, just to kind of uh, take the uh, I, I just don't I don't want to go home and just like overload on carbs right before I go to bed um, Like I said, I, I'm trying to stop eating early and today. I kind of fell into that. It's 1055 And I still have 80 carbs left so I'm gonna knock out these 45 minutes of cardio really fast and then go home and Maybe get to 300 if I can't I won't if I feel like I'm overdoing it I won't do it. So I guess we'll see how I feel after this All right, so my life was saved Christian had an extra Rice Krispie in the back of his car. Um, this whole bar is two grams of, six grams of fat, 48 grams of carbs. So that puts me at about 294 for carbs. So when I get home, I only have 30 more carbs. Holy fuck, guys. Just finished 45 minutes of cardio. My last 45 minute session of this prep. Thank you, Jesus, man. I never thought this day would come. I'm fucking drenched. Thank God I wore this long sleeve because now I feel a lot better about myself. I didn't vlog this, but earlier today, we were with Frank, me, Frank, Christian, and Kelvin. We were moving his stuff around and we were tired. We got Chick-fil-A. And then after that, we were like, what else can we fit in that has low fat and high carbs? We saw Menchie's, which is a frozen yogurt place. And we were like, why not? We went to Menchie's. I had, I don't feel like I should tell y'all, but transparency, <laughs> I had a pound of Froyo. I had 16 ounces of Froyo. I was so bloated after that, that instead of doing 45 minutes of steady state cardio, I did 30 minutes and then I added a 15 minute hit just to make myself feel better and I feel a lot better right now. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a run through of my day tomorrow. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna give y'all a run through from here till tomorrow because I still have stuff to do. Um, when I get home, I think I'm just gonna have two, two bags of salad that's equivalent to 18 carbs. Um, put like some bowl, a serving of bowl house dressing that'll be three extra carbs. So 22 carbs before I go to bed, 21, 22 carbs before I go to bed, and then I'll drink like I'll sip on like a glass of water. Wake up tomorrow morning. Well, actually, I'm not gonna go to bed, I'm gonna edit this video. After I edit this video, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. I have to get my trunks tailored. Of course me, wait till the last second to get my trunks tailored. I post my show trunks, I have to get them tra tailored. Um, I got a 32 and it's a little bit too big. Um, the fit that, that, that I got at um, Hurley, or a buckle I mean, it fit my quads right and my thighs right and my hamstrings right, but my waist, it was a little bit too loose on my waist. Um, so I'm gonna go get them custom fitted tomorrow at the tailor and then after that um, I have a haircut appointment at 1 p.m. and then I'm gonna work out after that and then at 5 p.m. we're shooting for the launch with a photographer in Houston his name is Neil um, and then after that 
we'll do some more cardio. So I'm so <laughs> I'm balancing this uh, private life, social life, online coaching, <sighs> so much. But honestly, I, I love staying busy. Um, I was talking to Frank and Christian earlier, and I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know how it would feel if I was just a billionaire and I didn't have to do any work anymore because I feel like once you get to that state, don't get me wrong, I would love to have all that money, but once you get to that state, what else is there to work for? I love being active on my feet all the time. I'd rather be doing this, what I'm doing right now, driving all over the place, uh, handling business, doing multiple things throughout the, day, throughout the day to make me feel productive and stay productive and stay off my feet and stay, stay thinking positive instead of negative. I'd rather be doing all this than sitting home behind the computer trolling YouTube or social media stalking or worrying about what else what, what, what someone else is doing and not doing my own and not getting my own um, I like hustling I, li I like working for something man I love I love the, the I love the the process of working hard for something and reaping the benefits at the end and I think that's what I love overall out of all this process um, I, I can't I can't stress y'all how much and how how blessed I am and how thankful I am for to be surrounded by people like Daniel, Christian, Frank, people that are like-minded, like are like-minded and, and share the same passion as me, that love fitness, that love working hard for something and 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 seeing the results. I love that. I love that. I have friends around me that motivate me in every single way. Daniel motivates me in a single a different way. Christian motivates me in a different way. Frank motivates me in a different way. Danae motivates me in a different way. I love that I'm surrounded by people and, and that's just true, the true meaning of Alpha Lee, man. We live to inspire each other and we're living that right now. We live to inspire each other and I would not, I would not have made it throughout this 20 week prep if it wasn't for Daniel getting on my ass, if it wasn't for Frank getting on my ass, if it wasn't for Christian getting on my ass and telling me don't eat that extra Quest bar, don't do that, don't do that. It hasn't been all me. It's all, it's the people that you surround yourself with and that's so true. But anyways, I'm gonna cut it off right here. Um, I'm gonna go home and that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed my daily vlogs this, this week. I've been trying my best. I know the content probably hasn't been as good as I, as good as I would like it to be, but I, I'm trying with peak week and everything else that I'm balancing, I'm trying my best. Um, this video is gonna be going up tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all soon.